Hey, this is Bentha, or well, as a fake, and welcome back to the Magic Gears server. Oh yeah, new name. And uh, for those of you who are watching like recently at the time of release, you will understand like you understand this. But uh, people watching in the future, you're probably not going to understand why I have a series on my channel that starts at episode 32, season two. Where was season one, and where was the first 31 episodes? Well, in case you uh, didn't know, there are some other playlists on my channel. Uh, Memphcrafts. What are they actually labelled? I think they're labelled MPMC. MPMC. Memphis Plays Minecraft. That was season one. And Memphis Play. Oh, no. Memphcraft season two. Well, was the first 31 episodes of Magic Gears server. So, yeah, I'm going to call this uh, Magic Gears server. And I'm going to title it. Uh, episode 32 season 2 just otherwise it will get messy it's like magic gear server episode 1 it's like it's just going to be messy and it's just easier to refer to like in the future like episode 37 uh rather than episode what 5 so yeah and uh oh of course i did <laughs> oh i I can still see a few coarse dirt blocks here and there, like there, there, and there. Ah, the same glitch was happening when Sam was clearing it out the other time. So yeah, uh, first thing I want to mention is the server. Uh, before, I think you know that the server actually crashed on this computer when the whole computer crashed. And then after that, it just would not start again. Didn't know why. And it got transferred to a Mac for the time being until until uh, everything was fi working again, until we could actually re realize, figure out what was wrong with the server. And Tav actually came over and he looked at it. He fixed a few problems. There was a few problems which he left, which we didn't realize until later on. But um, the two problems he fixed, one of them was the server but not working. It turns out, for some weird reason, that the server, um, it was really behaving weird, when the computer crashed, either coincidentally or because of a crash, the server actually, um, no, the port actually changed for port forwarding, don't know why, I still don't understand why it changed, but it did, and so because the port changed, I had to port forward the new port, it was like the last lump, last number in the port, it was a difference from, it used to be like 2 or 3, now it's 5, so yeah, that's uh, annoying. And the other thing he fixed is a graphical glitch. When I used to turn my render distance too high, the world would absolutely freak out. But uh, as you can see, now that doesn't happen. So um, it turns out for that problem, the drivers were outdated. And that's actually, that's actually the first one we fixed. And then when the server wasn't working, I decided to try port, delete the ports and uh, report forward. And that's how we found out that it was wrong. And... Um, yeah, now the server's running on my main PC, however, I do want to get uh, external hosting because a problem with uh, the setup I've got with uh, me hosting is, first of all, I need to have this computer on and hosting, which means usually when I'm sleeping, it's off. I don't think it's ever been on when I'm sleeping, like sleeping during night. I mean, there have been times where I've just been so exhausted, I've just had naps during the day, but... Other than that, I can't think of a time. And, um... Yeah, so... Another problem is, like... Because of where I live, my internet isn't that great. I don't have the best of connections. I probably couldn't live stream if I wanted to. I don't really have any intentions to anyway, but I don't even have the option, I don't think. The internet here is... The plan is good, it's just... Location... The the way internet's transferred, I don't know what the most up-to-date method is, but there used to be a way with copper wires, I've heard, and that's the way that the internet here has travelled. So, yeah. Copper wires, it's a bit slow, and... Especially with people like Jamer HTP. There, yesterday I was trying to, I was playing Portal 2 co-op with him, and we just kept on crashing. Like, Skype calls kept crashing, we kept disconnecting from games. Uh... And I at one point I actually turned off the server just so that we could get uh, 
better connections, but that didn't help that much. And uh, yeah, so I do plan on getting external hosting because of those reasons. And I think I'll just talk about a few for, few more things here. So I, obviously you can see over there with those sandbars, I'm draining out the rest of the monument. I figured out that the dimensions, and you can see one cobblestone wall, two cobblestone wall. The inner one is the one which I originally planned, but it's a little small for what I want, so that's why I'm extending it to the second cobblestone wall. But for now, for the Guardian Farm, I want to get the inner wall done because I'm afraid that if um, I have a Guardian spawning, if I had the Guardian Farm working, the Guardians will spawn in the water and make it more difficult for me to remove the water later on. So, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> something, uh, this thing. This thing used to be sitting on the surface. But I've done a bit of excavating, I removed a water pool there, and there was actually a hidden water pool beneath the ground over here, similar to the one which we found in Season 1, um, in the massive hill that I cleared out earlier on in the season. That was somewhere within the first 20 episodes, I believe. So this is the pumpkin farm which uh, Mumbo Jumbo had on the uh, Hermitcraft server, except it's a bit smaller, and basically I needed this for the jack o lanterns for the... Uh, did I even show you the rails? Yeah, I actually got jack o lanterns uh, sitting beneath the rails, and it, basically it's to light it up. I couldn't use sea lanterns and probably glowstone for the same reason, because you can't place tracks on them. So I needed to use sea lanterns for that, and that's very helpful. And, um, yeah, so that's why when, if I, did I even go, go down there? I don't know. But if you look up in there, it would look really weird. I'll show you in a later episode, I guess. But, um, yeah, this actually has produced a ton of pumpkins for me, and is very helpful. I don't think Mumbo Jumbo showed off his design too well in his video, so... I guess just pause the video if you want to build this yourself, and, um... And also check with his video if there's something you can't quite see. I think... That's good. Also, there's actually a skylight in the very centre. I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, there's actually glass. Or maybe there's not, maybe there's air, I can't remember. But glass is okay. And you can't see it because that pumpkin's actually hiding it. Uh, can we reach? Yeah, there we go. So you can see there's actually a torch of hopper on it, and then the hopper feeds into this chest, and that's how we get the stuff. And also there's two redstone torches beneath this block. And... Uh, these hoppers are completely full, well, there's five stacks of cobblestone between them, except a little bit less because I noticed a weird duplication glitch, so I need to have less, less, less because of it, and um, yeah, villagers, uh, there was a bit of an incident, but I have a feeling that I might be talking too long, uh, so can I, do, you, do I think I can say it quickly? Yeah, probably. There was actually, the reason I've actually lit all this up, is because I actually had a major zombie breach. I mean, there was the one where I clogged this part up with granite, if you remember, and a few zo few villagers ran out and died. This one, villagers, like, there was a small hole here, a one by one, I didn't think uh, the zombies were going to be able to get through there, but I knew about baby zombies, I just didn't think baby zombies even could just jump in there, but apparently there was a way, and a baby zombie got in there and killed everyone, except for a blacksmith and a librarian. I think they're now dead as well because they've been probably into the execution chamber. Unless they're still roaming around here somewhere. I don't remember what trades they had. But yeah, there was those two and I'm going to get away from them. Those doors are probably annoying you. But uh, it turns out like I I first at thought, I thought at first that I would have to constantly watch the farm and feed them with uh, carrots because there was no brown coat but uh, luckily in the execution chamber there was another librarian and a brown coat a uh, what was it a fisherman and he's still in the farm somewhere so that was it fisherman's lucky day and because the uh, fisherman revived the village eventually I'm actually gonna spare him and store him in the nether with all my other villagers and I won't go in there and try and find him but there's actually a toolsmith in there and he sells an iron shovel for seven emeralds, and that iron shovel is enchanted with efficiency free, unbreaking free. Now that's pretty good, and that's where I'm going to get probably most of my future shovels. With haste two, 
it's insta mine. Without haste two, might still be insta mine. I don't remember. Well, insta mine on what? Stone? No. <laughs> dirt? Coarse dirt? Sand? Probably. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, that's that. Anyway, I'm gonna go start building a um, a what? What was it? Oh yeah, villager selling. I want to sell some villagers, which I've got stored in the nether. I'll uh, show you what the villagers are. Well, I won't look at them, their trades individually. I'll do that later, but... Um, yeah. So here's all my villagers, and these are the ones I plan on selling. So yeah, you can look at their trades through here, and there are actually some good ones like this guy. I'm breaking free. They've all got something pretty good, except one of them's a bit iffy, but uh, he's a... I'm probably going to give him a low price, probably a few emeralds. I'm thinking of trading, charging like emeralds and diamonds. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'll see you when I start building the building for, uh, <laughs> building the building the building for um, the villagers selling place. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is airfall, like, when uh, Sam was making all the uh, stockings, Aerofall saw his and took it, and so Sam had to make a new one, and because of that, he doesn't get to keep his new one, and he gave it to me to incinerate it. So there. How do you feel, Aerofall? That's what that's what thieves get. Don't, don't steal. Don't steal. It's very bad. You could go mad, but not this time. You're lucky this time. <laughs> ah. Ah. That's funny. Yeah, get out of my head. <laughs> okay, so this is his basement. Eh, it's still fine. And this is his brewing area, I guess. I, I never liked having brewing stands on chests. Never liked that. Uh, <laughs> uh... Every time I see a painting, I think signpost tactic. Tactic? Or well, whatever. That tunnel needs a bit more work, but I need to work on my end of the tunnel as well. Okay, so this is what it looks... This is how you get there. He removed the hopper! He removed the hopper trap. Um, it's very much being like Air Force House. I don't think it's a good idea to have one of those there and one of those there. I could ask him about that, because it just doesn't feel right. Mm. I don't know, the glowstone like just the glowstone just by itself looks a bit funny. Oh that's a cool idea. Yeah, a bit has happened at spawn since I mean you'll see his house in episode thirty six, I think. I made that la uh, this morning at one and two AM. Yeah. Anyway, um yeah I've got to do stuff but I think we're going to set up our... I think we're going to set up our villager... Uh, I mentioned it to the guys and they, they said slave mark and I'm like... Uh, um. So, no. I mean, if it makes you feel any bit... But uh, the digital AI, so they're not really living. They're not really people. So it, it's it's fine. Just don't do this in real life. <laughs> Seriously, don't do that in real life. So, uh, He said that the gold farm had no pigmen, and I was AFK in the nether, which means tons of mobs spawning around you because they could just spawn literally everywhere. Well, almost everywhere. So I want to have it on the outskirts of the city since it doesn't. the building idea doesn't really fit in too well with all the other buildings, so I'm going to put it on the edge but still kind of seen, so I'll put it, uh, I'll put it here. So yeah, I'll get back in a bit. Okay, so similar to the chest over there.
What? Is that even how you say it? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, uh, where's the up arrow? There. It's shift six. Okay, so this is going to be the body. And then here's the face coming out like that. And, uh, yeah... Um, I usually don't like copying other people, but in this case, it actually looks pretty good, and I can't think of anything better, so, yeah, if you're subscribed to some of the same people as me, you will know what I'm, uh, who built this first. Um, uh, it's annoying. Clogged inventory. So this is the mouth. And, up, up, up. Up, up. Hmm. I can't remember with uh, mobs how big is their head in, compa in comparison to their body. About the same size, so I think I can bring I can bring this up more. Uh, I don't think this needs to be that high. Dang it! Oh well, I need that to get stay up here. Uh, another layer. Actually, no. I've got a picture next to me because I'm. I'll admit I'm not the best of uh, best person who builds on camera. So you got mouth and you got layer and you got yeah. Okay, so we got another indent here. Like off camera, I can do this perfectly fine. It just takes me a long time, so I want to. I just want to cut the um fat, I guess, yeah, cut the fat, and just give you the best that I can. So that's the green emerald eyes, <laughs> uh, coming out of my own emeralds, oh well. I'm thinking what I should charge for the for buying the villagers, diamonds or emeralds? I don't know, I'm not too sure. I think uh, Sam's going to get it soon. That and just slide it up. I think that's good enough for now. So what do we have? Does it look right? Ah, <laughs> oh, I forgot the nose. Okay. Yep, forgot the nose. Does this look any better? Yeah, that looks better. I think it needs one more uh, row on the head first before we can start wrapping it back around. Actually, villagers do have a kind of high head. So let's see what two looks like. And up. Because on the... Uh, I took a screenshot. Uh, I took a screenshot and it's looks too high, but it, actually that looks better. Uh, I might have to work on the body since there wasn't a body for this. I thought spruce would be good, but I might switch out for clay later on. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to work on that because I don't think I like the like the way the body is looking. Brop transitions. I do them sometimes. Uh. Yeah, I think you might have noticed if you looked at my levels in my inventory that um, those few clips you saw just after my 18 minute ramble were recorded on a different day. Yeah, the uh, footage from my original ramble was uh, corrupted, so yeah, that stinks and I had to redo it. And same day as that, that re recording that, uh, uh, that intro again, that 18 minute intro. I didn't expect uh, that ramble to go on that long, not intro, ramble. But uh, just something I want to point out is that looks a little scary. So we're going to put a roof on this place. I really hate my keyboard. I have to keep on editing out the beginning of clips because you can hear me pressing the key at the beginning and it makes an awful transition for me. I'm not sure whether you can hear, like, even my microphone has some static. Can you hear that? 
Hi. Right. Can you hear the static? Because when editing, I can hear it. I mean, I can't hear any static now, but when editing, I can hear it, and it really annoys me. So, what's the light level of this place? Okay, well, it's definitely too dark, so... I'm going to have to put light sources under those two, but I don't have uh, the glowstone on me to do that now. So, for now, uh, these two torches we have to do. And I'm actually running out of time because my 18 minute ramble, so I'll just uh, tell you the basics. So here I've got copies of my books. I've uh, decided on what trades to give everyone, so I'll quickly look through all the books. So that's the price, the selling price. And I decided to use a combination of emeralds and diamonds. In some cases I even did sand, and I think I might have some other weird ones every now and then. But, uh, yeah. The prices... Some of them are a bit weird, like, uh, this one's actually, I think this is the cheapest guy, only 8 emeralds, but, yeah, some of them is like, you get, you have to give free diamonds, and the main offer that this guy has, yeah, is this guy, which is, uh, free diamonds for that axe, but the thing is, you can buy infinite of that axe, so, that's why it's good to have it, and, um, yeah, maybe I should put a proper book here somewhere, completely explaining like how this works because I'm pretty sure not everyone completely understands how this is going to work but um, basically you look at the book and say I want villager number two so what do I need to give him Memphis, I need to give him an emerald block which nine emeralds is good enough it's the same thing and uh, half a stack of sand okay so you go back to my place say I'm sand for example go run off back to my place grab nine emeralds and half a stack of sand, put it in here, and I also put in here, like, a book saying I paid for, I am Sam Bolton, and I paid for villager number two, and then later I'll come on and deliver the villager to him, but where, that's actually a good thing I need to consider, where do I pay, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, fix this a bit, but, um, Payment uh, person location. I'll fix it. That's not uh, the best I can do, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The body is iffy, but it's better than before. I kind of got like a little. If you look at a villager, it kind of does have a different texture for where the dark oak planks are. That's why I put them there. I think that's pretty good. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Uh, it's approaching 30 minutes. Don't know how close it is. But, um, yeah, that's it for today. I uh, just double-checked the uh, stockpiled videos. And episode 33 is a prank video on Josh. And all these are pre-recorded. Episode 32 is actually recorded a while after. We have episodes like 36 even has already been recorded. Not edited, but be recorded. So episode 33 is the prank on Josh. Um, I think if you were paying attention to early episodes, you might know what I what I did in that prank. Uh, episode 34. Oh wait, there's an extension here. This extension wasn't here before. Let's check that out. Episode 34 is my most stressful gaming moment ever. Ever. For Minecraft, definitely. Minecraft definitely. <laughs> I huff and I puff and I break down your door. Oh. Oh, I think I see what he's doing here. Because this is pretty much maths from season one. There was like a cold room down below. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Uh, I'd have another stair there and there, in my opinion, because it looks weird, but okay. So, episode four, 34 is definitely my most stressful Minecraft. Uh, moment might not be ever, but it feels like it. I might be forgetting something. And uh, episode 35 is me and Sam in fish guts. And episode 36 is me and uh, Sam and Nick doing a challenge. And episode 37 hasn't re been recorded yet, so yeah, I think in those videos I don't even mention Mythicrafter. 
Mephic Cro No, I don't mention Magic Gears. Yeah, that's right. And, uh... Yeah, actually, yeah, episode 33 and episode 34 were both recorded last year, but because I think they have a better quality than the rest of the clips, that's why I didn't add them into episode 31. And I'm probably reaching the 30 minute mark, probably breached it by now, so I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!